Hello and a wonderful good day. We are playing some Foundry today. This is version 0.43 and this game has been on my watch list for uh, quite some time now and uh, I really really feel like going forward, giving it a look, giving you guys an opportunity to look at what's in there and uh, to see where this will lead us. So, for all of those who uh, own the version which can be bought on itch.io, here's a seed you want to play along. Alright, so, in case you don't know what the hell is going on here, it's pretty easily explained. Foundry is like a, uh, com a competitor to uh, Satisfactory, so... But I do like it so far more than Satisfactory already. So, we have a map, look at that, we have a map, and uh, we we have our tasks over here, so the game is pretty linear in that regard. According to the diffs, there is already like 30, 20 to 30 hours of gameplay experience in it, so we're going to check out how that promise holds up. There's also a Steam release plan for 2023, but uh, like I said, game is actually pretty accessible and playable already. So here we have Xenopharite. Might as well call it iron, but uh, I guess that sounds more fancy. And let's head on over and uh, get ourselves some Technum. I don't know if this game has any story or will receive any of that. We'll, uh, we'll discover that over the course of the time. Now, What I did like in the first place was that it looked a lot more orderly than uh, Satisfactory did. And let's see if that uh, impression holds up. So, the terrain I'm standing on here, by the way, is all mineable. Think Minecraft. So, all these blocks here of dirt, we can't pick them up. Except for the uh, mining spots as you see here if I try to drill away the uh, ground here and just get some ore and uh, that's that. So now the next task is to mine out some biomass. I have to require that in a minute. Let's kill some trees. You can also mine biomass from pretty much any plant out there. Easy enough. So we get to craft our first building awesome, isn't it? So. This game feels a lot like uh, if Satisfactory and uh, Minecraft had a baby. You are into that kind of comparisons. So, we're going to create ourselves a first furnace here. Bringing up some room to make things a little bit more orderly looking. So, um... Let me know. C for crafting. So, crafting menu. Any Factorio veteran will know it. Will know how it looks like. So, primitive furnace requires us some ore, and that's that. So, furnace goes down here into the hot bar, and then we can place it down. So, rotate is R, and uh, oh, there we go. Very, very primitive furnace, isn't it? So we get to we have to craft xenoferrite plates and technum rods. I personally want to just uh, craft myself another furnace and do these things uh, sim simultaneously. There we go. So configure primitive furnace, xenoferrite plates, and technum rods. The real cool thing here is that I now just need to press a button and it automatically dumps the xenoferrite ore into my, uh, out of my inventory in there. What it doesn't have right now is fuel, so let's uh, manage the inventory of that thing. So let's see. I didn't mean to give you the entire stack. So let's see, how can I split a stack? Shift right click no, control right click no, right click no, so well, mm -hmm. I don't have. To, I don't know how to split a stack yet. Well, we're going to get behind that. Let's just buy ourselves. Let's just uh, 
get herself some biomass for the other um, furnace. That's that. Although I better find out how splits, uh, stack splitting works in the long run. But, uh, be about that. So, we are now putting these things inside there. And as you see there, there's already Xenoferrite being output. We can also just press that button and get the stuff into our inventory, if the eh? So, for now we don't have much to do except for waiting for the furnaces to get their job done. For the normal stuff, eh? So, let's dig out some more fuel for starters. Because ore is uh, going to be not really that important to uh, dig it out manually, that is. I mean, we can, we might as well pick up these uh, large blobs here, all of them. Because at the end of the day, our mining ops will just uh, work on the ground, I think. No. So. I want to keep these guys busy, nevertheless, because I bet that uh, we're going to need whatever they uh, output there in larger quantities. So, craft building blocks, and uh, yeah, now it's now the fun starts. So, I get to craft building blocks now. Building blocks come as uh, patches of five, so every construction order gives five building blocks. Requires those plates and stuff that we just uh, started to craft. And now let's put these on the ground. And these are, just like you see, just like the other blocks here as well. So, um, if you still don't have any Minecraft vibes of it, off of this game, I cannot help you sincerely. But, uh, well, let's make some room for that uh, platform. Because we got our. Uh, I want to replace the floor here. So there we go. And now. And that's the fun part here. So you see up there a. Uh, there's a lot of uh, quality of life stuff in here. Very easy to uh, to drag out uh, larger portions of this flooring here. Very, very easy to like that. So, let's grab ourselves the materials that are being made here. I'm running out of xenoferrite there, so uh, we better grab some of that too. So the next task is to craft a drone miner and the like, but uh, let's uh, first talk about... Uh, more iron income. And so basically I just want to grab a couple of these blobs there. You want to keep those smelters busy. I'm gonna automate a lot of things uh, now with the drone miner and the stuff, but uh, gotta get there first. That will get me somewhere. Mm. Now, put in some more ore. Grab those materials that we got there. And ow, I constantly press the F button because that's just what you do when you're playing Victorio and you want to build something. So right now we are supposed to build ourselves one drone miner and we're supposed to set it up there, okay. So the drone miner requires electronic components but these get handcrafted in the background, which is pretty cool. We will have to make these things uh, manually of course later. So drone miner. Mm, let's put them down, like here. 
So the drone miner sits on the foundation. The foundation plates give power to whatever stands on them, but uh, there is no power yet. So we will need to get ourselves something that creates power. Luckily there is good old biomass generator. There's always a machine that burns something for you in games like these, so... There goes. And here's the fun thing. If I place that thing down here on this grid, it'll provide energy to all of these guys. So, now we just have to slap in some pellets, and that's that. Look at that. So, the dronesies are now doing their job. And uh, you can watch them work here. There's a, uh, there's a nice little readout. So, I want to do that same thing twice of course so let's craft ourselves another biomass generator another drone miner and a couple of building blocks because why the hell should i not do this uh, two times you know i need xenopharite as much as i need this technum stuff so let's do this Might as well get a restarted with this, with those things that will come up uh, one way or another. You know. Okay. So, I think I can just uh, pick up these bigger nodes. I think they are meant to give you a nice uh, starting, uh, nice starting funding, start start funding, and then. Uh, you're supposed to you're supposedly on your own okay so um the game has forced a larger foundation on me than i actually would see fit let's put down a drone thingy here and the biomass generator right next there of course it requires biomass to work let's acquire that too I really wonder how we're going to get ourselves automated uh, automated income of a biosource. This looks like a factory. Fifteen biomass. All right. Oh, there we go. Here we have uh, again a nice little button that automatically gives us what we need, and uh, the dronesies they drone they drone around and do their thing. It's really lovely how a uh, few things you have to configure yourself and such. So, let's craft ourselves the items we're supposed to be creating here. So, 20 conveyors. Okay, if you say so. I don't think that I'll need 20 conveyors with that kind of setup you guys uh, want me to have. But, whatever. I'm not the one to, ju uh, to, uh, to judge here. But I do know that I have not enough material on me to craft those 20 conveyors. So let's head on over to this place again. Okay, this place stores 100 pieces of ore. Alright, got it. Don't I have any Technum ore on me? No? Okay, then we should definitely pick up some ore. No, actually not. Actually, we're going to craft those conveyors they were asking me to do. I mean, I bet that I'm going to need all the conveyors that, uh, that I'm supposed to craft and make way, way more of these, but uh, I think one thing at a time. So, I'm supposed to build a smelter on this foundation. Oopsie, I don't mean to. So I bet that it works like as follows. So, oh boy, that that thing is a big one, hey? All right. So, sounds like a uh, like a same choice while we're uh, crafting those building blocks. Hey, void, welcome, and Zami, welcome. Satisfactory in voxel or can't compare it. It's very, very much satisfactory with the uh, addition and the extra spicing that uh, it does come blocked, uh, blockwise, uh, Minecraft style. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that um, due to the fact that everything comes 
as a block. Way easier to scale and calculate things than uh, satisfactories. Biggest chain, biggest difference that I've noticed so far between Satisfactory and this one, and it's a good one because I certainly uh, felt like I was going to hell trying to um, set up something in Satisfactory in 3D that's actually working out nicely. So, okay, this sucker is lapping over left and right. Am I able to build it, nevertheless? So it looks as if we don't need to have foundation below every one of these, and this thing. Oh no, missing building foundation. Never mind me. So, I've been uh, ogling foundry since quite some time now because I um, I'm watching that this thing gets developed since a while. And uh, a couple of days ago, the I got a uh, offer for a key for it. So, uh, yeah, um, everybody who's interested in it, it is already available on itch itch.io. You know. It's not as if this game ain't available yet, it's uh, just not uh, available on Steam yet. Because the devs were like, they want to they, they want to meet the higher expectations that the Steam clientele has. And uh, I, I totally understand that. But uh, everything what I saw so far um, gives me the impression that I don't understand what these guys are waiting for. But on the other hand, you only have one attempt for a first impression, and I guess that's what these guys are uh, considering there as well. So, mm, mining machines still working only uh, manually. Sucks a bit, but uh, whatever. It's also not too uh, not too costly. I think it's uh, between 50 or 20 bucks on uh, itch.io. I'm going to include the link um, to the to the page uh, in the description box after this. I just forgot. Wanted to do that uh, before I start the stream, but uh, somehow, somehow slipped past my attention. So let's pick up the stuff. Can't wait to have this uh, jank all automated because it really sucks to make that all manually. But well, well, well. It's supposed to be like that. Games like these want to motivate you to actually strive for automation. So, configure smelter. So this thing is now the... Well, it does transform 80 units of xenopharite per minute. And this uh, chungus here does only 60 per minute. Although, I gotta say, if you uh, compare them uh, efficiency-wise... Um, Space efficiency wise, these things here suck quite hard, but uh, let's see. Um, do I need to uh, do a loader or uh, do these guys connect automatically? Let's see. Looks like there has to be a loader in between. So, F, demolition mode, control F, or bulk demolish. Bulk demolish lets you drag a rectangular prism and demolish everything. There we go. Cool stuff. Um, so it seems we require those loaders I crafted. Please don't tell me that I planned this all too narrow. So... But it looks as if we just uh, gave it just about enough spacing there. There it goes. Only thing I did miss... Kind of, uh, misprint there was that. So, okay. Got that. What can I build here except for these things? I'm supposed to build a lab next. Alright. But I honestly want to create another one of these things. Because I obviously feel like I want to have the xenoferrite uh, thing going on there as well. So. Because I'm very unhappy uh, carrying the stuff from A to B the entire time. And, uh, so let's get rid of that guy. This guy I'll leave alive for now. So. And then we'll have to worry about the whole energy uh, question as well. 
But one thing at a time. For now, I think I can safely just uh, harvest the fl uh, flora and uh, transform it into fuel. Seems to be not a problem at all. Take that, cactus. Get biomassed. So, let's see. Those foundries are damn large. I, I really didn't expect them to be that huge. So... Building blocks will be something that I'll be mass-producing like a madman in the near future, for sure. I wonder if we can make something out of these blocks except for decorational things. Yeah. Right now, it seems as if we are replacing everything with handcrafted blocks, you know. So, good god, this thing is huge. Alright. So never mind, I need more building blocks, and uh, most importantly, I need way more materials for that. I somewhat disagree with the with the size of the first uh, smelter that you <laughs> you're supposed to build. <laughs> it's a it's a real resource fest to uh, to get them. But, yeah. Not quite sure if I uh, if I like it that much. This one. Anyways, it'll all it'll all pass. Oh, I I need loaders as well. So here we go, loaders and thirty one building blocks. Woo! Okay. My apartment is, is uh, wishing me good health. Just kidding, my wife just heard me. Ugh. Okay, so here we go. We will require a lot of room here, don't we? I think it's going to be a lot easier to just uh, set up the, the loader first and then uh, adjust the uh, spacing according to that. So look, we got different materials. Sand, dirt, stone. Minecraft vibes. Not a bad thing. Factory Games never did uh, try to catch the, uh, the Minecraft vibe yet. Chip, did anybody of you guys notice? So I, I hope this will be uh, a, a good spacing here. I mean, worst case scenario, we just have to which case scenario enter. But look at that. We are not getting uh, punished here at all. So one thing that I surely will do in the future, just uh, pave the hell out of the area. And, uh, you know, just do way too much uh, foundation uh, blocks, or way too many foundation blocks, and just, uh, you know, work accordingly. Oh, whoopsie. That's, um, that's looking wrong, eh? But, so far, everything is easily understandable. That's something I appreciate, you know? My trouble is more with, uh, with the chore and less, uh, less with the uh, understanding part. And I personally consider that always as a very, very good uh, aspect of games like these. So, we are certainly going to need more biofuel soonish. But, uh. Hooray! I got income of the basic materials. Just need to make it, uh. move around on the map some. Hey, Jam! Hi there. Thank you. Pleasure to see you. So. I'm really, really cu curious to find out what this game has in store for us for real. But, uh... I guess the fact that, uh... There was a campaign from the, uh, PR office... Or, of the creators... 
Oh, I dropped the key. Um, gives me the feeling that the uh, version right now is something the devs want to promote, you know? So. Oh, okay. This baby here has a way higher storage capacity. Now, that's a real upgrade compared to uh, what we had before. So, let's jog around and uh, grab ourselves some plates and then let's look, have a look at the uh, research lab. I wanted to do this uh, last week already, but uh, sadly, here came something in between. So, where is the lab, actually? In what, uh... Oh, God. I love it when my wife opens windows and just leaves the door unattended. The hobby of hers, you know. Giving me heart attacks like that. Alright, so, I got the, uh... Research lab down. Research unlocks high voltage energy and uh, so doesn't tell me that I'm supposed to put that on a foundation, but uh, well, I I bet that I uh, that that I need to because I I cannot imagine that this lab is going to work on goodwill alone. So let's give it some building blocks. And more running around for the materials. I really uh, am already considering to uh, centralize these things a little bit. Somehow I'm uh, not happy with uh, wheezing around like that. And uh, give me a second. Mike, uh, mute the microphone for a second. That's it. So. Xenoferrite plates. I'm going to build a crap ton of these suckers. I think we're going to need endless amounts of these guys anyways. So, let's check it out. This thing processes eight un 80 units per minute. Oh, wish I could see it in seconds. Can we? Can we play? Auto safe interval, terrain block shattering, blah 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 blah. Too bad. I would love a uh, a setup where we can get these numbers displayed in uh, in production per second because I am so um, used to that. So one of these robo miners is not yielding enough material to keep one smelter entirely busy. So, or so it looks at least. Why is there a, st a constant amount of ore in here, though, I wonder? Hmm. That's strange. This shouldn't be like that. If the yield is 60 per minute, then this should deplete after a while. Well, it does. Ever so slowly. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Just took a while longer. Good, so let's check out the geography here. Um, not seeing any uh, other mineral deposits here in the vicinity, so I'm going to set up shop somewhere around here. I do not want to have to uh, fill up uh, chasms like these, so uh, we're going to, going to look for something plateauish. Or a basin like that. Okay. So luckily we can't just remove and terraform everything here. So I'm going to put up a uh, little platform here for sciencing out stuff. I bet that we. Totally underscope everything here, but um, 
but a oscilloscope to uh, put it up in the right way. So, there we go. Not sure if I like that whole uh, terraforming process right now too much. It's a bit slow, you know. I hope that I get uh, upgrades there for that. So, let's see. Handhelds, I can only craft myself a new mining drill. Can I dual wield the mining drills, please? I feel too slow. Anyway. So, we're going to set up a nice platform here. Damn. And, uh, come on, why is everything so titanic? Oh. So, structure is blocked by terrain or building blocks. So, unlike all other machinery, research labs do not need power, and therefore they don't need to be placed on building blocks. There's nothing wrong doing so, though. All right. So, very, very anti-intuitive. I didn't uh, expect that to be a thing. Who would have thought? But whatever. We're going to place that thing down on the ground, then, if possible. So, good God, how big is this thing? So, buildings feel damn oversized. Although, it's surely cool to, uh, to watch them then like that but uh here i have a bit of a problem that i'm unable to see the entire uh building and therefore i am not able to see where there's a problem i cannot see where uh, where i need to uh, remove more blocks do i need to more, go more into this dimension do i need to go more into that dimension but well I would assume that this should work, but uh, it doesn't. So, why? Well, sounds like I'm going to put this on uh, on construction plates at, uh, or building blocks after all, because I am unable to uh, understand why the game is uh, bothered by the by the terrain down there, so here it goes green now. Well, okay, we're, we're just going to fill that thing here. Building blocks. I know that it ain't necessary, but... Uh, it challenged my sense of aesthetics, and uh, now it has to die. Okay. So, oh, I can now find my smelter by just following the um, plume of smoke on the horizon. That's, that's great. It looked a little bit like uh, to me like as if down in that uh, basin where I wanted to build the lab, but there was some vegetation in the way that uh, blocked the, the building process there. So I really am looking forward to see how belting um, with these uh, varying um, height uh, levels is uh, going to work out. Okay, needs more plate. So building blocks are truly the building blocks of our uh, factory. You need so many of them that you feel the name building block in all, with all its gravity. But on the other hand, it sure looks nice, doesn't it? Overall, I keep being surprised about how nice this game looks. Despite its uh, simplicism, you know. So. Also really, really like how uh, you, you place down large platforms here in this game and stuff. Really feeling good. 
so. Oh god, this is not feeling good though. So for whatever reason, I can only place it down here, so. Let's check out what the fuzz is. So yeah, it's because we are uh, hitting the borders here, so I think it's easy. It would have been easier to just place it down somewhere else, but whatever. So hello lab. Finish the research lab. Xenophorite plates, wire coils, machinery parts. So here we have our first mini quest. All right, this thing comes as a uh, as a construction site. Tell you what, we're just going to use the dirt that I got here and uh, fill up. You know. Just fill up the chasm there a bit. Nobody will ever notice that it's a hollow below there. Except for those who know. Okay, so... I already do know that we got later down the road access to... Um, or that we already got access to assemblers and this stuff. And therefore I'm... I'm tempted, you know. Why on earth should I want to craft the materials for this lab material, lab stuff manually? Buildy crafty miney, hi there, faithless. Welcome. So, biggest issue that I have, or the biggest. Uh, sorrow that I have about the fu near future here is uh, my my power um, my power budget ah conveyor slopes I see that's how we work crate logistics container loader support yes loader support no okay so we have containers that have loader support and here assemblers need xenoferrite plates and uh, stuff so, assembler, yes. We also will... Well, do we require a loader? I don't think so, actually. So, I really hope that we get some tools to, uh... To, um... To gain control over that nasty ter terrain here a little bit better. Because, uh, you know, right now... The terrain is really, really misbehaving. Okay, well then, let's just set up a little bit of something. We are requiring, what, wire coils made out of technum rods, and the other stuff are... What was that? So, wire coils and machinery parts, basically, just refined as xenophorite plates. Yeah, well, whatever, we're just going to... Probably I'm going to do it to uh, handcraft it after all just because it's a lot easier. Thing is, I don't know where we're headed, you know? And, um, therefore I'm hesitating from setting up any automation as of yet. So... Turns out the xenoferrite plates are the most lacking part is so we could we could really use another drone miner couldn't we so since i'm waiting anyways why does we do something here good luck with elden ring don't let it swallow your soul man you only have one leave it for other games like factorio and this and the like just kidding have fun recently uh yesterday i, I uninstalled elden ring because i Ultimately, uh, except that right now I don't have the amount of time and energy for that kind of game. Because if I will play Elden Ring for real, I'll be playing nothing else than Elden Ring for a while. Because everything else is just uh, madness. Don't I don't want to do that to myself, because, you know, that kind of muscle memory deteriorates after a while. You need to do that basically for years to have a permanent... Uh, access to that, and, um, you know, I got better things to do, but I'm more of a brain person and uh, not that much of a reflex person.
Although Elden Ring is worth the time, it's a lovely game. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, it's a lovely. Not game. quite the word I use. Yeah, it's lovely gameplay. The storytelling sucks, but the gameplay is awesome. Yeah, awesome. Sure, but lovely. <laughs> right. So, I run out of building blocks here again, but I am basically just waiting for the xenotherite plates to. Uh, Come together so I'm able to. So right now it really feels as if we need way more xenophorite than uh, than technum. I am not certain. I'm not particularly happy with that. But uh, it's only because I I see no uh, further deficits of that stuff in my vicinity. That's all. But that's altogether a good reason to set up another drone miner as soon as possible. To crank out a little bit more output out of this little thing here. Although, I think with the second drone miner we will be successfully oversupplying. But whatever. There's no kill like overkill. So. There's always... It's always worth... Uh, worse to uh, undersupply your stuff, that's all I'm trying to say. So, drone miner, yes, I don't have a loader. Check, check. Also seem to need a, uh, a permanent exit or a permanent solution for fuel in the near future. So, no mineable blocks in range. Ah, okay, of course. So, wait a sec. Could be that this thing... Okay, I see. Damn it. These are inefficient so far. That's why everything sucks. Alright. So... Hmm... Raises for me the question, can I build these platforms above the ground as well? So there's conveyor slope. Can I bring up the building block of like that? Yes, I can. Yes, that's possible, and we uh, probably should do so as well. Let's see. I hope that doesn't block the mining drones, though. So... Now I covered one of these guys. Just because I want to know if it's now... Still 74 mineable ore blocks in range, okay. So. Here goes now the loader. We're going to need a conveyor slope now for the first time. And so I hope it does work like that. Yeah, looking good. And then goes the second loader. So. Let's see. Alright, they automatically bring up curves. I nearly uh, messed up the direction of the ramp. So, hold mouse button, we want to slope down, that's why it didn't work. Alright, good, I mean, now we have successfully upgraded our output. So, Ugh. yeah, 
that's closer to the yield this machine actually wants to have. So I'm pretty sure I can now just dismantle the other thing. Good. So, learned something out of that. So I never heard about a board keeper or a vintage story either, so thanks for bringing up these names. Whee! Okay, so far so good. So, oh yeah, I seem to have used the machinery parts. No. Back to the Xenophorite place I go. Er, here. So. Also means that I should be able to dismantle the other... Um, the other thingy uh, pretty soon as well. Just want to find out what kind of uh, long distance transportation methods this game offers. So, I'll, I'll give it a look. Okay, finished construction. Whoopsie. The completed construction of Research Lab 1 has unlocked the following new technologies. High voltage energy, science pack tier 1. Additional technologies are now available for research. Research battery small. Research interface. So yeah, high voltage energy. In this game we have low voltage and high voltage. So, advanced energy generation generates high voltage power, which we need to transform into low voltage power, I guess. A transformer needs to be placed on the according building part foundation and connected to the HVP via power line. Hmm? Even if high voltage power generating machines require a foundation, they only output generated power to a connected HVP grid. All right, transformers have a maximum transmission rate. Sometimes multiple transformers might be necessary depending on the amount of power consuming machinery. Okay. Power lines can be created. After you equip them, you can click on a connectable object to start a power line. Okay. Sounds intuitive enough. So, research, research interface. So, hello, science. There's a handful of things that we can research here. Nice. So, if you ask me, that seems to be the entirety of the tech tree. Pretty convoluted design, but... Don't want to mutter too loud about that. So, what can we research here? Mm. Research lab tier 2. Mm, no. Thanks. Uh, okay, I better look at this here. So, small battery. Mm. Capacity 250 megajoule. Requires foundation. High voltage grid. Okay. Game tells me that I have to research this. Let's research this. So, science packs are made out of machinery parts and technum rods. Are you kidding me? So... Okay. Okay. Well then. Now we certainly seem to have a goal. For starters, I think it's going to be way easier to just handcraft the uh, stuff that I'm needing here. But uh, for the longer, for the longer, um, for a longer period of time, we're going to do it differently there. So dirt stacks larger, higher than just 100. The drill is peaceful, don't worry. It's your friendly neighborhood drill. So, 10 effing machinery parts. That means the uh, battery technology is going to require a lot of... Uh, a lot of that stuff. While Technum rods, if you, uh, if you look at that, I have such an oversupply of Technum right now that... Uh, yeah. 
it's not exactly the same with the Xenophorite. So. Let's make a bit of uh, things happen. First off, I want to have more conveyors. Then a couple of conveyor slopes. Then a handful of loaders, and then more conveyors. My my first plan now is to just transport the uh, production of the Xenophorite plates a little bit away there. I mean, at the end of the day, if I see that correctly, we should be able to do a lot of uh, stuff with just uh, with just one patch. I mean, this one machine here supplies uh, supplies one entire smelter. If I am able to drop this guy here a little bit smarter, he will be able to support another smelter. Oh, look at that. The stuff is depleting after a while, still. So it ain't endless. Okay. Got it. Olamite, whatever that ma uh, stuff might be. Okay. So since materials seem to be depletable, we do have a uh, reason now to just uh, um, deplete them. So stupid as it might sound. For me, it makes a lot of difference if uh, whether or not in a game materials or material patches are endless or or not. Endless material patches uh, do make me plan entirely different. So let's. Uh, make that happen here as well. just want to have a couple of these science packs while I'm working at uh, something else. So, let's see. I am able to put this down here. Can belts just roll in the air? Seems like they do. Nice. So, um, well, Putting this uh, on a slope is now an entirely uh, aesthetic decision of mine. Eh. What a intake, no foundation. Output, no foundation. Alright, so, uh... If these guys have no foundation to stand on, they, uh... They are angry. Okay. So, now we're going to work like this. Work ourselves down to the valley. So far, so fun. This is something the game here does a lot better than uh, than Satisfactory did, in my humble opinion. Like I said, due to the fact that everything is a block, everything is a lot easier to uh, to manage and uh, to to wrap your head around. If that makes any sense to you. So. Definitely the the Minecraftiest uh, factory game that I've ever played in my life. So I'm not quite sure where I really want to have these plates, but uh, let's just say it's also a bit of a experiment of. Uh, what I can do here in this game. So, E, pick up items from the belt. Yum. Tasty plates. There we go. So, let's make ourselves more of these guys, more of those guys, more of everything. Okay. Typical uh, factory game trope. More of everything, please. So, now we need to take a bit of a curb here, so let's 
see. Okay, now we have a bit of a uh, problem there. So how do you connect these? Let's see, like this, like this. All right. So we will actually require now an upward slope. Urgh. Okay. So the real question though remains, how on earth do I get these materials where I really want to have them? So, oh yeah, let's, uh, let's experiment a moment for, uh, with the, with the concept of air belts, you know? Air belting stuff doesn't seem to be any problem whatsoever. Great. Good. <laughs> but, um... We're also actually able to do air slopes. Nice. Alright. Hey, lost animal. Welcome. How am I? Pretty okay. Feeling a little bit under the weather lately, but uh, beyond that... Everything's pretty nice. So let's uh, let's just pick up uh, more of these guys here. Um, luckily now able to just uh, grab the plates that I need. And I recently discovered that these conveyor belts they are entirely made out of uh, technoferrite. So I bet this place ran out of power. Oh boy, I need to generate some more biomass. Very important here to uh, finally get myself some other method of uh, power generation. Burning stuff is not necessarily the most efficient way of generating power. go. Okay, there is a xenophorite ore patch. The thing here is, if the if belts are supposed to be the standard transportation, I don't know if they really want to uh, do that to us, then we we will have to. And I'll do that mostly via air tra via air belt like I do it here. Because it's just way easier to transport stuff uh, above ge geographical um, problems, you know. Okay, so how about crafting our stuff into that direction where all the trees are at? This is a uh, doubly good thing. The trees bother me anyways, they are in my way. And uh, when I get rid of them, I get biomass, which leads to more resources. The circle of life. In factory games, at least. So, we go down that way, then. And now we're going to do the air slope thing. Until we hit bottom level. Alright, so... First thing I learned, I need to... Uh, bother myself with the terri uh, with the uh, with the terrain only as much as I want to basically or as much as I allow it to bother me the grover say so let's do this I think one of the first things that I want to do is a uh, automated assembler that creates me an endless amount of uh, building blocks because these suckers tend to be what we are uh, always sure of. So what do are these guys made of? 
Xenophorite plates and Technum rods, so basically the first challenge to uh, set up a real assembler. Let's just hope the assemblers aren't as titanic as I am afraid they would be. Here I'm removing the dirt because I wanted to make this entire thing here. Foundation plate here. So... Guess what? I'm out of Xenoparite plates. Who would have thought? But luckily, we can create these suckers here in larger batches. So, the other option would be to set up an automated machine first that makes us uh, conveyor belts, because we obviously also need gigatons of these as well. So, am I already able to, sp to produce splitters and the like? And. Uh, I think I only left this place with only three bio the three biofuel that I tossed into the uh, thing there. I didn't add in more, didn't I? No. So long story short, I think it would have been m much easier to just pipe that stuff on uh, without the slopes. The slopes here are entirely aesthetic. It would have been easier to just uh, go like that all the way. Just up, up, and above, and uh, then pipe it down but, uh, when we get there. So, there we go. Let's uh, torture ourselves by creating the first assembler, or more so, setting up the first assembler. So how how huge is it? I bet it's uh, going to. Oh no, it's actually not that. All right, cute. Actually, quite the cutesy machine. So we require, of course, another biomass generator here. So these things need machinery parts and conveyors. These things need machinery parts and uh, xenophorite plates, so I won't be able to get them done that easily. Yo, plates, where art thou? Here, okay. So let's just do a little thing before we go crazy here. Making sure that these uh, goods are going to get down here too. That constant uh, lack of material is really bothering me, but uh, what can we do? Probably should have set up a second smelter for uh, Xenophorite plates sooner, sooner than that. No, I don't want that. I want to do these damn slopes. So here we are. Brought these materials where we need them. So I do. Oh, I do have a solar panel already. Great. Transformer. So I unlocked these things. What I didn't unlock, though, are um, splitters. So. Without splitters, I will be not really able to do much here. Just realized that. Because if I'm not able to split the uh, materials of one belt into several directions, there's not going to happen much there. So we rather um, handcraft a couple of um, science packs again. So, there we go. 
but I mean, I won't regret any of these uh, things that I made there anytime later, because we're going to need everything of that. So. It's just that I right now notice that I'm not even able to set up a single assembler for conveyor belts, because I would need two belts transporting these uh, suckers now from the smelter all the way down here because I'm not able to make this belt turn into two belts and that's um, you know yeah just you know we're gonna get there once it's time so research small battery due to the fact that I have now access to solar uh, energy that's going to change a lot so research interface we are researching small batteries And I guess it works the same like it always does. All right. So at the end of the day, it all boils down to uh, producing enough xenophorite plates. Tell you what, we're going to make it as follows. We're going to make at least the machinery part curse go away. That's the least I can do. And then we're going to add in some more income of, uh, of that Xenophorite stuff. Because obviously we need way more than uh, I'm actually producing right now. Way, 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 way more. Configure that machine to make us parts. There we go. Grit stats. Oh, cool. And now we can at least uh, get a little bit of that done. So this thing does only uh, use 40 uh, 50 percent of the input there so I'm still able to safely uh, steal myself whatever I need from these but uh, well it'll at least cut down the production times by a lot you know okay but uh, let's head on over to the um, to the mine because I feel like it's just about time to set up a second smelter and that's that if I need that dirty much of a uh, dirty rotten many items of these then let's just make more of it right now I'm just walking and uh, plundering good so first things first this thing here I don't think I need it anymore I bet that this guy here is providing well okay never mind yield last minute 43 Yield last minute 30. So, yeah, it does seem like it's a smart choice to uh, have two drone miners on every, uh, on every deposit, on every smelter. It does seem like a sane choice more than I thought in the first place. Alright, okay. Then we'll expand more. It's okay for me as well. Gives me something to do while I'm waiting for the materials to be uh, allocated after all. So, two drone miners. And the smelter. That's what I want to have. So, let's try one other thing this time. Can I construct myself one drone miner? Yes, I can. Just want to know how much coverage this thing would have at this point. Or if it would be smarter. Well, so this guy has way more mineable ore blocks here in range than he has here in range. Like, look at that. 
On the other hand, it doesn't really matter that terribly much as we found out now, because I'm going to put up two mining two drone miners for this entire enterprise anyway, so. Let's not ponder about it too much and just set up two drone miners, and that's that. Alright, except for a little bit of a uh, sluggish start, the game feels great so far, gotta say. And a bit of a sluggish start, I think that's uh, just a typical thing for uh, factory games. Speaking about which... I want those uh, science packs. Because if I have batteries, I can make solar power and then I'll have finally an end to this uh, uncomfortable situation that I'm in right now. So, there we go. Five science packs. I think that should be enough then. So, solar panels, let's see, a solar panel generates 300 kilowatt. What does a biomass generator do? 800 kilowatt. The thing is that we will have to store the power somewhere in that time being. So, that's a problem that we need to solve. Do I have enough? I'm actually running out of Technum Rods. Yay! Finally! Feels a bit weird, but... Uh, it is as it is. So, um... Where was my lab again? There. A little bit of a mini-map would be awesome in this game, gotta say. So, research complete. The last task has been fulfilled. I'm officially out of the tutorial. Hooray! So, containers. I have 32 slots, but no loader support. Conveyor balancer. Allows to split or merge to conveyor lanes. That's exactly what I want. Inventory size. Ladder. Lights. Loader second lane. A loader with a two-block pickup and drop-off range. Oh, it's basically a long-handed inserter. Mining drill speed, also very valuable. Railings. Tier 2 research labs. Signs. Stairs. Yeah. The conveyor balancer is what I want to have in the first place. Requires me another 30 blocks there, um, of, uh, or 30 units of science pack. Ugh. It's quite a lot, guys. So, the real bummer about that is that we're uh, not going to get any real automation of sorts going without uh, mm, without the next tech. Because all the things that I could automate via assemblers require me to put in more than one material in there. And, yeah. This is only really uh, doable with several, um, with, with splitters and uh, yeah. Let's do this! I got the drone miner, but I only got one drone miner. I ain't got no smelter, but we're going to get past that. So, at the same time I now wonder if I shouldn't force my income more into uh, into those research packs, although that feels so damn boring that I don't really want to do it. And also, what will I do with all the dirt one day? Yeah. My work asks questions, but it rarely gives answers. So. There goes one. And the other guy we're going to... Let's drop him down over here. Let's 
give them foundation support. Hmm. I wonder if I will be doing dirt art or anything like that in the near future. So, let's connect these. And be out of Xenophorite plates again. But that doesn't really matter too much because I'm almost where I want to be. So, let's grab ourselves some of these here from the belt while we're at it. I mean, it's a bit of a joke to a progress like that, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Sadly, I cannot make the Xenophorite plates in my inventory. You need the uh, machines to craft that for you. So, I got that guy over here. Oh, whoopsie. That was... Actually, we can stay with third year. So. Let's connect these. So they can share a power grid. And then the only thing left to do is to uh, pipe that whole thing into a foundry. Or a smelter, however you want to call it. So we're going to make ourselves... Do I want to make myself a platform like that? Actually, why not? It gives me something to do with all the dirt. Okay. Then we're going to need another uh, heaps of uh, foundation plate here to to get that done, but one thing at a time. So, biomass generator, because that's how we roll right now. Okay. Well, my first verdict so far is. The scale of things in this game is crazy. It's a lot harder than I thought in terms of uh, scaling Frenzy. Didn't expect it to be that hard on me. But beyond that, it's way more organizable than uh, Satisfactory is. In a way that uh, I have way less trouble in setting up everything in an organized way that it looks neat and all but i'm going to take a break from this and i thank you all for watching it's been a blast i hope you enjoyed as well so next time we're going to set up some real automation until then take care leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up if you don't mind and try subscribing if you haven't done so already if you missed the stream and you want to uh watch it the next time there's twitter there's discord and you just need to hook up on these, I announce all the streams there. Last but not least, if you'd be so kind to check out Patreon and Paypal, which you find in the description box below, I'd be super happy. So, have a good one everybody, and see you there. Bye-bye.